Hello everyone, welcome to Flandreau SciBytes from Flandreau Science Center and Planetarium at the University of Arizona. I'm an undergraduate student studying entomology at the university, and today we'll be learning about aquatic insects through exploring what we can find at Cañada del Oro Stream at Catalina State Park. After just flipping over a few boulders, we were able to find a couple beetles. In the bottom right, we've got a couple diving beetles taking cover, and in the left, swimming around, we've got a couple smaller scavenger beetles. After going further up the stream, we were able to find a couple back swimmers. You can see their long legs helping them to paddle around like oars in the water. Hiding under a patch of moss in the middle of a pool, we were able to find a dragonfly larvae, which we call nymphs. They have a large abdomen that contains their gills, which they can fill with water and squeeze to get around and help them breathe. Dragonfly nymphs are ambush predators, so they like to sit and wait for prey to come to them instead of the more active bugs we found. You can see how many bugs we found in just a few minutes of collecting. Back swimmers, dragonflies, and a diving beetle that managed to escape our box in the top right. Welcome back, we've now made it to Romero pools. As you can see, we've got a little pool here between these two waterfalls. And in a mossy pocket along the bank, we found a couple new bugs, as well as the back swimmers we saw earlier. The smaller oval-shaped bugs you see darting around on the right are creeping water bugs, a smaller cousin of the giant water bug. Along with our bigger bugs, we found a couple smaller bugs which you can see swimming around in the top left of the box. Uh, these are little mayflies. Alright, now it's time to say goodbye to these guys. Let's see how quickly they can disappear. To wrap up, can you remember what a different name for a dragonfly larvae is? I hope you learned something new here on this episode of Flanjar SciBite from Flanjar Science Center and Planetarium, inspiring future scientists since 1974.